Hi guys, my name is Andy Stewart. I'm a solution engineer on the ArcGIS Indoors team. What we will be looking at today is reprojecting and georeferencing CAD in an Arc Pro workspace. To get your CAD to ArcGIS Indoors, I suggest looking at the link below that will help you get into the help get your CAD into the right indoor schema. So now we have an open workspace in ArcGIS Pro, and we're just going to go to the map and we're just going to hit properties and go to coordinate system. What we're going to do is we're going to look for California State Plane, uh, particularly the FIPS 0405. And once I find that, I'm just going to click OK, and it's going to regenerate a new projection system. Awesome. So the next thing is to add my CAD data and also do the same thing with uh, redefining the projection. So I'm just going to do it with the first floor just for, for exemplary purposes. And I'm going to drill down the polyline group and find polyline. And I'm going to go to the CAD layer management tool. And I'm going to hit define projection. And then I'm going to drill down the list and find current map. That way it's just my CAD matches my base map. And when I georeference, they actually line up nice and neat. Now I'm georeferencing it, and what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to be looking for the area that I need to georeference in. So I'm going to type in Redlands, California. Awesome. And I'm going to zoom in to Building L on Esri's campus. Once I find Building L, I'm going to go back to my georeference tab, and I'm just going to hit uh, the Fit to Display or Move to Display button. And there it is. So now I actually have to move it to fulfill that gap of where it is underneath the base map. And I'm going to be playing around with it for a little bit, trying to hit the move, scale, and rotate button to get it to line up. So as I'm trying to line up this CAD drawing with the base map, um, I just want to go over a couple of things. Uh, particularly when you are georeferencing your CAD, you're just spatially adjusting a CAD drawing without changing the original source data. Also, CAD floor plans do not come pre-geo-referenced unless you completed an AutoCAD Map 3D. So another thing to note is that when we bring in tons of floor plans, we don't have to geo-reference all of them. So a trick that I learned is you can actually go into File Explorer after you saved your first floor, and you can locate that first WLD file and rename it to whatever your AutoCAD floor plans are. And I'll show you that in a second. So now we have our file explorer open and we're renaming that universal projection to Esri underscore CAD. And then after that, we're going to rename the world files based on their CAD name. So we're going to call it uh, building L2 and building L3. And the world file is just a saved file for your position and size of when you georeference that first floor. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all our CAD data back to our base map. So earlier we created those world files for each CAD floor and we did a universal projection and we placed it in our CAD layer folder. What that allowed us to do is have nice neat CAD that was georeferenced and spatially oriented to our base map. So once all of our CAD data has been loaded for each floor, we're going to zoom in on our staircase. Earlier, I was georeferencing the staircase a lot more heavily than other positions on the building. That's because I understand the staircase and how to georeference that a little bit better than other spots of building L. If you are more oriented to other locations of georeferencing, I highly suggest you follow that route. I followed the staircase route just because that's how I was taught. So now I'm just collapsing all my layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create group layers. And I'm just going to label it floor one, floor two, and floor three. Or I guess vice versa. I did floor three, floor two, and floor one. And 
and floor one. Awesome. So now I'm just going to select those layers that pertain to the floor and control and select them and drag them up to floor one and the same thing with floor two. And then I'll finally do it for floor three. Um, what this allows you to do is to turn off the floor's data that you don't want to see. So it's hard to see floor one's data when you have three floors overlapping one another. So I can turn off floor two and floor three just to see floor one. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you have a question. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content. Thank you.